Hello everyone and welcome! In this video we're going to be talking about winter tires. Now this particular example is the Bridgestone Blizzak WS80 tire. It's their latest and most advanced winter tire. So winter tires are basically designed to have optimum traction in extreme cold, wet, snowy, and icy conditions. So let's talk about some of the ways that these tires are able to achieve better traction in these conditions. Now the first method of improving winter traction and one of the more traditional methods is studded tires. So studded tires literally have metal studs embedded within the tread of the tire and this helps increase traction as the metal studs dig into the ice as it's driving over it. Fairly simple idea and easy to understand but it can damage the road and they're also pretty noisy. Now studless tires have come a long way and with these advancements in tire technology these tires are now highly capable in winter conditions. Now the next method is the tread compound. So winter tread compound on these tires uh, is actually quite a bit softer in colder temperatures. So as the temperature drops below freezing, summer tires are going to harden up, where these winter tires are still going to stay flexible and pliable uh, and provide better traction on uh, not only icy and snowy conditions, but also dry roads as the tire can kind of deform into the road, uh, the contours of the road, and mesh with the grooves better than a summer tire would that's much harder when kind of rest on top. So next let's talk about the actual tread design and these winter tires are going to have a much deeper tread depth and that's for several reasons. Basically you're going to want to be able to get that water and slush, you know, the icy mixture and disperse it out of the tire and these deeper grooves are going to help allow you to do that. The other thing is on snow, when you're actually driving these tires on snow, when you get packed snow up in the tire, you know, a lot of people think that's actually going to make the traction worse. But in fact, it does the opposite. Snow on snow traction is actually really good. So when these deep grooves hold in snow and pack it in there, when you're driving on top of snow, that snow on snow friction is actually pretty high. So it helps improve traction on top of snow. Now on to siping. So sipes are little slits that are within the tread pattern on the different blocks. Um, basically what these do is they provide a biting edge and they provide more biting edges for the tire to grip onto the road. So you're going to have these surface irregularities in the road and these different biting edges are going to help grip against those irregularities versus if you just had a flat smooth tread block then it's only going to have one leading biting edge and then it's going to have to rely on the flexibility of the tire to mesh into those grooves. Now the other thing that Bridgestone does with this tire is they have these zigzag pattern sipes and there's two reasons for doing this. Uh, the first reason is it's more stable, so the block itself is going to be a bit more rigid like that. It won't have so much flexibility in moving around. Also, it's going to give it a lateral edge, so not only will it improve longitudinal grip, but lateral grip as well since you've got these sipes in both directions. So next let's talk about two multi-cell compounds. And basically what this is, is if you're taking a magnified view of the tread compound, then what you'll notice is it's porous. And the reason they do this is for icy conditions. So ice is basically the worst traction you can possibly have uh, on the road. So what happens is the tire on top of the ice creates a small thin film of water from the pressure. And not only that, but if the sun's shining or something like that, a thin layer of water can form on the surface. And it basically gives you almost no traction. So what this is doing is these little air bubbles, and they also have a hydrophilic coating, which helps to draw in water. What these bubbles are doing is drawing in that water into the tire to remove it from the surface of the road so that the tire can contact the ice directly and then have better traction. Now one final thing that Bridgestone does with the WS80 tires, they include these bike particles within the compound of the tread. So essentially what this is is little miniature studs that as the tire wears, you know, more of them appear. So you're always going to have some of them available. And basically what these mini studs are doing is kind of breaking into the ice and helping to give you better grip uh, and braking on ice. Now the reason why I'm using the WS80s in this particular video is I was looking for some winter tires for my Subaru to head up to the mountain this ski season and basically I went on TireRack.com and I was looking at the different tires they had and I was trying to find the one that had the best winter traction and TireRack actually publishes some test results uh, from the different tires they test and this was one of the top performers and it won me over so I sent a message over to Bridgestone and said hey would you guys be interested in making a video they said sure so they sent this set of tires so I'm gonna go ahead and put these on my Subaru if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below thanks for watching 